Hello, guys. Good evening, Julio. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Let's see who else is here. Lady, hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Um. <laughs> ¿Cómo decirlo? Voy despertando. <laughs> ok. So you have a nap. Ok, we're good. How much time did you sleep? An hour? Two hours? Um, one hour? Half? <laughs> one hour and a half. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so I think you're with a lot of energy, right? <laughs> okay. Hi, Clelia. Hello, hello. What is Clelia? Hello. hello. How are you, Clelia? Uh, buen sueño. Okay. Hello, hello. Welcome, guys. Uh, welcome, Diana. Nilton, hello. How's it going, Nilton? Hello, teacher. Eh, un poco mejor, ya, teacher. Okay, guys, welcome back again. Um, we're going to start a new unit today, and we have some activities. Um, let's say related to our new unit and we're going to start a uh, checking today some new vocabulary that we're going to study and we're going to have of course some practice right so let's check this is our session 16 and we're just missing four days after this one so i just hope that we can uh, finish and remember that uh, you uh, have to attend the two hours right because we're about to finish and we need 85% uh, of attendance. So just keep in mind that. Um, recuerden que ya estamos casi por terminar. También ahí es muy importante eh, la asistencia, ¿verdad? Traten de no faltar estos últimos días. Que su asistencia lleve los 120 minutos. Okay? So that's just a reminder and just keep in mind that information, okay? And please, if you haven't completed the activities from week uh, unit uh, with three uh, unit three, so just go to the website or platform and try to uh, complete that the exercises. Right? Of course, we're going to need it in order to um, assign you your scores. Right? In order to send that information to ease of course, us to uh granted you a diploma, right? Okay, so look at this, a warming up about Christmas. So we're going to talk about about Christmas. We have a class objective. Uh, we're going to talk about accounting vocabulary. So we're gonna see uh, what's that about. Uh, we have some conversations. So to so practice about a uh, banking or well, conversations that happen at a bank. We're going to uh, describe some people. And besides that, we're going to uh, 
well, look at the assignment that we have in our website, in our platforms. Okay, so let's start with the first activity. Uh, can you help us, Julio, please? Uh, and could you read the instructions for this activity? Instruction, work together, complete the exercise. Discuss the questions and share your answer. Okay. No sé si me escuchan, chicos. ¿Me confirman ahí? ¿No los escucho? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to uh, work in the following exercises. We're going to talk about Bad Christmas. We're going to check what's that about. So just let me open the file. Okay. So we're going to create some questions. And we're going to answer the questions based on what we see in the following pictures. So look at this. Um, okay, just let me share. So I think we're done. Okay. So uh, please uh, say if you could tell me if you can see the bad Christmas pictures. So can you see them? Yes? No? Still sleeping? <laughs> Lady, can you see yeah. the pictures? Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you, guys. So just uh, take a look at the pictures. We're going to discuss that in a moment. We have some vocabulary, and later we're going to answer some questions. Um, so let's just uh, try to figure out what's the picture about. For example, look at this one, picture number one. So what idea comes to your mind when you say picture number one, picture one? An idea, what do you think about picture one? Give me some ideas. She's going to creep. Okay, he's going to uh, picture one. Yeah. This one, this one. Here. Ah, yes, he has something like a bag. I Yeah, I think so. What else? So what, what do you think he is doing? What is he, he doing? Travel, travel alone. Traveling. Waiting mm. for meeting. Waiting, okay. Waiting for it's her Valentine, his Valentine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. At the airport. So that's a lot in, a lot of imagination, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Picture number two. So okay. what can you say in picture two? Any idea? Christmas tree. A Christmas tree. Okay. So do you love do you like Christmas trees? Yes, no. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. so Marlene, yes. Do you like Christmas trees? Um yes. Yes. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, it's a photo of a Christmas tree. So, but try to give me some ideas about the story. So let's try to find out what happened during the story. So I'm going to show you the verbs later on, but first I want you to try to make a guess. So try to guess. Um, how about picture number three? So what do you think about it? Any idea, guys? What do you see about picture number three? It's a Christmas tree and gift. Mm -hmm. so, so what, what happened with the Christmas tree? It was a earthquake. <laughs> there was an earthquake, okay. <laughs> there was an earthquake and the Christmas tree uh, started to dance or, or, or falling. Child, don't be quiet. Christmas tree. Okay. And what happened with the presents and with everything? Any idea? So because if you observe that, the Christmas tree is, is well, it's already full. And it Look at that, there you have food, there is food, um, presents, I don't know what's this. So the lamp is the only one who's 
the one that we can uh, take. It's okay. And how about picture <clears throat> number four? Uh, was this you during Christmas and Christmas Eve? So what do you think about a uh, here? An idea? Picture mm -hmm. four. This one. Veronica? So what do you think about this lady? Maybe she's thirsty. Sad. She's giving thanks. Ah, uh, she's she's praying. She's giving thanks. Right. Huh? Okay. She's probably sleeping. Okay, so we got two ideas. Uh, picture number five. What do you think? Of Milton? Or guys, picture five. They are sick. Okay, in, she's in sick. the hospital. They're in a hospital. Okay. Picture number six, Elena. What do you think, Elena? Hello, welcome back. Lady, picture six, Diana. Miguel. The dog is still <laughs> present. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The dog is biting a present, but the dog bought a present, it brought a present for somebody, right? Okay. Picture number seven, ideas. Picture number seven. This one. Miguel, what do you think about picture seven? They go out the house. Como se dice que se están jugando. They are moving. So they are yeah. leaving. Uh, they are moving. They are leaving the house. They're moving. Walking. They're walking. Okay. Well, we're going to check the vocabulary later. And picture number eight. So remember that this is a sequence of a story. Picture oh. eight. He's boring. He's boring. He's okay. he's the green. He's bored. Uh, boring. Uh huh. He's sad. Okay. So let's check the vocabulary that we have over here. Um, we have the following vocabulary, and we have to match that uh, in the correct um, order. My wife and kids left me. Home alone. A the presence fell over. Destroyed the decorations, uh, got food poisoning for a week, and lost my job. So let's see. So let's try to match the vocabulary with the pictures. Let me see if I can get a little bit smaller. Okay. Picture number one. Idea about picture number one. My wife and kids left me. Mm. So do you think that this match with uh, picture number one? Look at picture. Lost my job. My job. Lost. Okay. Lost, Lost my, my, my job. job. Let me see if I can edit this e over here. Yes. Okay. So you think he lost his job? So he's not traveling. That's my job, okay. Picture number two, ideas, picture number two. Eight depressants. Okay, look at these, picture two. So we observe, oh, no. uh-huh. Yeah, number three, eight depressants. Eight depressants. <laughs> okay. Eight six, the dog, eight depressants. Uh-huh, yes. Number two, ideas. Number two, we observe a Christmas tree. Um, see, let's see, teacher. See, are uh, different, different groups. So we have my wife and kids left, left me, home alone, fell over. Fell over. Fell over. Okay. Yeah, we see some kind of movement, I think. 
Belover. How about picture number three? Picture three. Destroy you the decoration. Decoration. Yeah. Right. The Christmas tree destroyed everything. Okay, how about picture number four? She's uh, enjoying her, well, she was enjoying something. So what do you think, picture number four, ideas? Good, 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 good. Ah, okay. Good poisoning. Poisoning, okay, has it happened to you? Yes, no? Yes. Really? For a week. Okay. Yeah, I am, let's say, um, I met um, a woman who ate a mango at Costa del Sol. <laughs> and then she went to the hospital because it had some um, pesticides. So you, like, you gotta be careful. <laughs> okay, so picture number five. Picture five. So we have home alone, a the presence for a week. For um, a week. For a week. Okay, for a week. For a week. Number six. A the present. A the present. Anello a the present. Okay. About seven. My wife and kids left me. <laughs> okay. And the last one. Home alone. Home alone. Home alone. Okay. So would you like to be uh, in his position? So now let's read this again. So I lost my job, the Christmas trees, the lover. So who wants to uh, share the story with us? Who wants to read the full story? Let's see, anybody who wants to try? Rosa, hello, hello. Where is Oscar? Uh, Oscar is Oscar here? No, not here. Uh, Veronica Burgos, you want to read the story? The story. Mm -hmm. Every picture. Aha, uh -huh. so just try to make it. Try to do it. Try to uh, construct a story. I lost my job. Um, then fell over and destroyed the decoration. After I go food, food, so poisoning, hard mm -hmm. poisoning. Then for a a week, the dog ate the presents, and my wife and kid left me. And finally, home alone. Mm -hmm. So you were home alone. Okay, so let's try to do it back again. Uh, well, I'm going to talk about a bad Christmas that I had. First, I lost my job. Then um, the Christmas trees fell over. Suddenly, it destroyed the decorations. And besides that, I got food poisoning. Can you believe it? For a week, I stayed at the hospital. And um, furthermore, we can say that the canelo, like the presents. So there were chocolates, uh, chicken, hamburgers, and what else? <laughs> like clothes, uh, everything. He bites, uh, he bit everything. Um, after that, uh, my wife and kids left me and I uh, stayed home alone at the end. So now let's look at the following question. So what happened last Christmas Eve? So can you give me some ideas? So what happened last Christmas Eve? So 
So based on the pictures, what happened? Julio, uh -huh. what do you think? What happened last Christmas Eve? Uh, lost a joy. Look at the pictures back again. Lost my job. Uh huh. I lost my job. I lost my job. What was the problem with the Christmas tree? The Christmas, the Christmas tree fell over. All the decoration fell over. Okay. Did everyone enjoy Christmas lunch? No, I didn't. No. Nope. Okay, no, they didn't, right? What did the dog do? You remember? Dog ate Eight. the present. Yes, the dog ate the, the present. present. Okay. So what happened on the day after Christmas? The day after Christmas? The decoration is destroyed the decorations. Mm, okay. No, the Christmas trees fell over and um, look at this. The, it destroyed the decorations. But uh, check a question five. What happened on the day after Christmas? Okay. They got a uh, phone signing. Put phone signing out. Her wife and kids left. The, left he, him. Mm -hmm. So let's say my wife and kids left me. Okay. Home alone. How will Christmas be this year? Do you have any idea about this uh, coming Christmas? How will it be? Alone. The Christmas, I am alone in house. Alone. Christmas will be? Will be alone in house. In home. It'll be lonely. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice. Let's see. Um, well, there you have the answers. And now let's continue. We have some more questions. So just let me go back. Okay, so right now we're going to the following. We're going to uh, practice with some uh, double H questions. We're going to work in pairs and answer the following questions. We have to complete this exercise and you're going to send your answers, of course. But I want you to uh, speak with your classmates and talk about some activities related to um, past simple. For example, um, we're going to talk about what do you do yesterday? So try to mention some activities that you did uh, in the morning or in the afternoon or activities that you basically did at work. So what did you do yesterday? So try to come up with some ideas. So what did you do yesterday? Let's see, Nilton, what did you do yesterday? Give me an idea, Nilton. Guys, what did you do yesterday? Anybody? Uh, varias cosas. Mm -hmm. Just one. Oh, okay, yesterday uh, I did get up 7 a.m. Uh, okay, get up. What's the past tense? Forget. But, uh, what, I got what, what, I got you. Got up, okay. Got up, I got At six. Okay. Uh, Julio, what's another activity that you did yesterday in the afternoon? I, I sent the meshes. They may my boss okay i sent an email to my boss how about you um veronica what do you do at night yesterday mm -hmm. yesterday's night i 
I stayed um, state in my English class. Okay. So you stayed in a place or I I I had I had an English class. Mm -hmm. So you had an English class. So I want you to discuss the activities that you did uh, during that time. Um, next question. What time did you go to bed last night? Guys. So what time did you go to bed last night? Lady? Uh, the 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. At 1. Okay. 1 a.m. About you, let's see, um, Diana, Rosa, Blanca. I went to bed at 10 and 15. 10, 15, okay. 15 or 50? 15, you said, right? 15. Okay. So, well, at the end of the class, I guess. Okay, next question. What time did you get up this morning, guys? What time did you get up? I got up at 8. I got up? I got up at 7.45. 7.45, okay. So... So you got up at 7.45, Veronica? Yes. Do you live near your job? Okay, so look at question number, uh, we have question number uh, four. What do you have for breakfast this morning? So remember I had or I ate. So what do you have for breakfast this morning, guys? Clearly a, a, sandwich. a sandwich, okay. A sandwich. Let's see, Elena, hello, hello, Elena, Veronica Hernandez, Nilton, Oscar, hello, Oscar. So what do you have for breakfast? I have at seven o'clock. Mm, but what? What? What do you eat? Um, two eggs. Mm -hmm. Eggs, scrambled eggs, for example. Okay, so I want you to discuss these questions with your classmates. So you have, uh, let's see, uh, just eight questions, but please try to give uh, long answers, right? So give information to your partners, okay? So please, um, I'm going to send you a screenshot, uh, join the breakout rooms, and later on we come back, okay? We're going to have around five minutes in order to do this. Okay. Okay. There we have the questions. So give as many answers as possible. Okay. Okay. So there you have. It.
Yeah. Eh, Blanca Luz, hello, hello, Blanca. Carmen Guadalupe, and Elena, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Ok, Guadalupe, la vamos a asignar con alguien. No sé si ahorita no, no puede participar. Ahorita no puedo, teacher. Ok. Hello, Elena, are you here, Elena? En esto dijo que pusiéramos las, que tomáramos el espíritu, ese perdí las otras que estaban ahí. Me sacó el nivel. I send you the pictures. Ya les envié las fotos. No sé si las. Se ven, se ven. Sí. Ah, ok. Hasta las seis se ve. Sí. What did you do yesterday? I I do working. Uh, what time did you go to bed last night? Oh, I did six hour. What time did you get up this morning? I did five o'clock a.m. What did you have to, to breakfast this morning? I did breakfast a hour, a eight hour, no, a p.m. Breakfast, uh -huh. breakfast, desayuno. Sí. Uh -huh. sí. What time did you arrive in class today? I did the class eighteen. Okay, hello guys. So I'm hello. here. Hello, hello. How are you hello. doing? Como vamos, chicos? Clalia, Carlos. Um, yeah. so, so good. Oh. <laughs> Lelia, yes? Okay. Okay. So, guys, give me ideas about what you did yesterday. What you did yesterday in the morning, for example. What you did? Um, I got uh, what? Uh, okay. Past tense for the verb go. Uh, no, I went. Went right. I went to, I went to work. Okay. Went. So that is the past tense. Go went. About what else? What else did you do yesterday? Yesterday in the morning. Carlos, what did you do yesterday? I. Yeah. 
So think about the activities, like I uh, got up in the morning at 7 a.m., I brushed my teeth, I took a shower, I write so I wrote some emails, I signed some papers. Casi no se escucha, vos, Carlos? I did clean my house. Ah, uh, okay. Well, so what is the past tense for clean? Past tense for clean? Clean? Clean. Clean. Is it? Uh huh. Yes. Okay. So you're going to say, I cleaned. I cleaned. Clean. Mm -hmm. I cleaned. I cleaned my room for example in my house okay so what's another activity that you did rosa did you study did you let's say eat did you call somebody did you pick up the phone Lelia? So what could be another activity? Hello, Lelia, can you hear me? Hello. Uh-huh. So what could be another activity, Clelia, that you did yesterday? Uh, I watched TV. Okay, so what is the past tense for watch? I watched it. Watched, right? Watched. Okay. Let's try to do this. So we're going to write the example. I watched TV. Okay, so just keep in mind that when we're talking about affirmative sentences, we, we need the structure. It's subject plus verb. Subject plus verb in the past. Sí. If you add did, si ustedes le agregan el did, ahí le están agregando un énfasis. I did, uh, for example, cleaned, which is not very common. I do clean. El do o el did en este caso cuando se pone ahí es para hacer énfasis. Sin embargo, acá no queremos hacer énfasis, solamente queremos mencionar las actividades que hicimos. Uh, I cleaned, no quiero hacer énfasis en eso. I, I brought an email. Entonces ahí lo que tienen que ir viendo es escribir el verbo en pasado. So that's it. I... I did my homework, en ese caso, para utilizar el verbo hacer en pasado. I sent an email. I, let's say, I called a client. Cuando usamos it, no es necesario cambiar el verbo. Ok, so cuando son oraciones afirmativas, se cambia el verbo en pasado. Aunque usamos did. I did my homework. Estas son oraciones afirmativas en pasado Ajá. simple. Entonces, yo escuché por ahí que estaban poniendo así, I did, y después me ponían otro verbo. Por ejemplo, I did watch. Ajá, Ajá. Ajá. Eso, eso no es posible. Entonces sería, cuando, sería cuando se ha utilizado ese did, a veces, pero eso no es muy común, es cuando uno quiere hacer énfasis en algo. I did um, clean the toilet, for example. Uh -huh. Utilizar en presente también. I do clean the toilet. Pero eso es para hacer énfasis. Realmente no sé, es algo similar a esto. Cuando yo digo, cuando yo hago énfasis en algo, no lo voy a leer igual. Por ejemplo, is a teacher. Ah, teacher. Ahora, si yo digo, is 
Yeah, pero esto sería en cuanto a la pronunciación. Is a teacher. A, como, como lo decimos en el alfabeto. A, a teacher. Eso cambia en cuestión de la pronunciación. ¿eh? Para hacer énfasis, quiero decir, él es un maestro. Pues, si quiero hacer énfasis en eso. Uh -huh. Con este did es lo mismo, cuando yo quiero enfatizar algo, pero no, no lo utilizamos tanto así, ¿verdad? Entonces, sin embargo, lo pueden hacer. Lo que yo no quiero es que se me vaya a confundir es en cuanto a las acciones, ¿verdad? Uh, I cleaned, yo limpié, ¿verdad? I cleaned, I took a shower, yo me bañé, I woke up, me levanté, I wrote, yo escribí, I went, yo fui. Uh, she traveled, por ejemplo. Ella viajó. Okay. 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 Solamente esa observación. Uh, no sé si, si me los confundí o estamos bien hasta ahí. No, no, sí está bien. No, no, okay. teacher, yo iba perdido ahí, quizás. Oh, don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, let me see. So, but this happened with the affirmative. Esto pasa con las afirmativas, ¿verdad? Subject and verb in past. Con las negativas, vamos a ver, por ejemplo, no creo que no tenemos ninguna pregunta ahí. Vamos a hacer una oración nada más. Miren, subject plus auxiliary did. Aquí sí necesitamos el did. Cuando son una oración negativa. Auxiliary did. Y necesitamos el not. Plus a verb. En the base form. Y en la forma base. ¿Cuál sería la forma base? Sí. I did not clean. Miren, ahí sí. Miren. I did not. Yo no limpié. Yo no. Ok, pagué. I did not uh, play. Y utilizamos la contracción didn't, ¿verdad? I didn't play. Uh, she didn't. Y en pasado vamos a utilizar el didn't para, ya sea para todos los pronombres. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Eh, siempre utilizamos el auxiliar did. No es como en el presente que usted utiliza el das, ¿verdad? Para tercera persona. She didn't play. Entonces, cuando son oraciones negativas, aquí si usted tiene que agregar un verbo auxiliar para hacer el cambio a pasado y el verbo si sí se mantiene en su forma base. Es decir, no se hace ningún cambio, solo el verbo clean, pay, play, uh, dance, eat. Okay. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí, chicos? Sí. Oh, ok. Sí, sí. Es que lo deje sí. practicando ahí un poquito más. Ok. Bueno, gracias. Thank you. Ahí le pueden tomar una captura antes que me no vaya para que los tengan ahí. Sí, ahorita. Uh -huh. yeah, gracias. Thank you. Dólares. Ten dólares. Mm -hmm. Did you go online this morning? Did you go online? Pero me quiero ver qué, sin, qué significa. ¿Qué mm -hmm. mm -hmm. significa? Did you go online this morning? Si navegó en internet. Uh, yes. Okay, can you show me your answers, Oscar? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, so check number five. I did arrive. So you have to add a verb in past tense. I arrived. I arrived. Uh -huh. Erased. Uh, did. Delete. Right. Did. Uh huh. About Delete. Uh -huh. I arrived. Erase did, not did. I did arrive. No, not did. 
No, no, it's an affirmative sentence. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If, if it is an affirmative ah, sentence, you just say, I arrived. If it's negative, I didn't arrive. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So check it again. La numero... um, I think it's five. Why? What time did you arrive in class today? Uh huh. Uh huh. I just arrived. I arrived. I. Uh huh. Perfect. I, I like mm -hmm. And look at number six. I don't, simple present. I didn't, right? Auxiliary? Did. I didn't. Did not. Uh -huh. Did not. Didn't. Contraction. Entonces, no tiene que poner el verbo en pasado. Sí, siempre. No. In the negative, in the negative sentences, no. Uh -huh. I didn't no, no, watch. No. So check I it again. I did. Apostrophe. Uh -huh. And erase, uh, erase letter E. D, that E. Erase that E. Didn't. Mm -hmm. Y ahí tiene una E de más, eh, después de la D. Eso, eso. Didn't. didn't watch. Ajá, ahí el verbo va en la forma base. Didn't watch. Didn't watch. Ah, no, yo voy a saber. Uh -huh. Watch. T-C-H. T-C-H. Watch. Watch. TCH. TCH. Uh -huh. Watch. Uh -huh. I didn't watch TV yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, now it's better. Lo estamos haciendo mal. Ya, ya le había creído yo a la mía hermana. <laughs> Entonces, cuando es negativo, uh -huh. uh -huh. Por, eh, es que Porque yo le había entendido que cuando utilizamos el DIV, ponemos el verbo en eh, no lo modificamos ¿va? porque ya, ya está el did en pasado en, el auxiliar en pasado es el auxiliar cuando para el formar. auxiliar ajá cuando el auxiliar no está en pasado si sí pongo el verbo en, en pasado verdad no no es necesario en ese caso ya no es necesario oraciones afirmativas sujeto y verbo en pasado en oraciones negativas sujeto auxiliar did el not y después va el verbo en su forma base. Uh, pongamos ahí la estructura, eh, Oscar. Abajo, abajo, pongan. Affirmative sería. Affirmative. Ok, subject plus. Subject plus verb. Verb. En simple pass. Ahí, ahí, ahí. Ajá. Y ahí pónganle la forma 2. Eh, hay tres formas de los verbos, presente, pasado y, y tenemos pasado participio. Sería la B2, V2. La forma 2 es el pasado. Verb simple past. Uh, negative. Elemental, copio esto. Uh -huh. abajo. Y aquí sería el pasado. Ahora vamos con los eh, negatives. Aquí sería solo present. Más present. Uh -huh. present. O base form. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y adelante, uh -huh. allá uh, donde dice affirmative, hagámosle negativo. Son las negativas las que vamos a ver acá. Negative. Aquí le ponemos un negativo. Subject plus did plus uh, did not plus a verb in the present, uh -huh. verb infinitive. 
in, in. Mm -hmm. I didn't play. Aha, uh -huh. eso de presence. Aha, uh -huh. ahí. Aha, uh -huh. quítale eso de verbo presente y quítale el más ahí. Ahí está. Word infinitive, ahí está. The base form. Se llama forma base, infinitivo, claro, sin el tú, ¿verdad? Um, uh -huh. Ahí nos hace falta el auxiliar. Adelante, ¿Cómo? primero. No, adelante. Sería donde está el después más. Después del sujeto. Después, Ajá, después, uh -huh. sujeto. después del sujeto. Va más. Ma, no, más. Después del más. Uh -huh. Ahí va a poner did. 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 Ajá, not. Not. Más. Ajá. Infinitivo. Sí, Ajá, terminan en VE, el, la, el infinitivo. V. V. E. Ajá, infinitivo. Ok. Entonces son las dos estructuras que tenemos: afirmativa, subject plus verb en simple past. La negativa, subject plus did not plus infinitivo. And the questions? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have to be, yeah, we have to learn the verbs. That's the problem that we may have. Los verbos, los verbos tenemos que aprenderlos y recordar que cuando son preguntas o son oraciones negativas, siempre usted va a ubicar un auxiliar. Y el verbo no se modifica. Sería en su forma <risa> Preguntas o oraciones negativas. A las negativas ahí tenemos. Vamos a utilizar un auxiliar. En las preguntas, lo mismo. Did you watch the TV? Cuando son preguntas. Cuando son preguntas, vamos a utilizar un auxiliar. Did. Cuando son yes, no questions. Subject. Mm -hmm. Infinitive. Y después el question mark. Ahí. No sé si les aparece ahí en el chat. Sí. Ajá. Por ejemplo. Subject más infinitive. Ahí está el ejemplo. Jugaste, right? Jugaste. Did you play? Did you play? Jugaste. Yes, I did play. Did you eat? Comiste? Did you dance? Bailaste, right? Cuando son double edge questions, cuando son double edge questions, tenemos la double edge word, what did, subject, infinity. What did you do? Hey, sisters, what did you do? Okay. So check it, check it. So there you have the structures. Okay. So now you can continue. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you, guys. Yes. Yes? Yes, finish. Okay. So you give me a moment. I was checking some of your classmates. Okay. Welcome back, guys. Did you send the activity? 
some of you, Sanet, right? Okay, so we're going to check something. The structures for the simple past, affirmative. So what is the affirmative structure for the simple past, guys? Can you tell me? Anybody? Affirmative, simple past, subject plus? Subject and verb. Plus verb. Okay. In la forma dos, verdad? So that means simple past, simple past. Negative. So what is the structure for the negatives? Subject plus. Plus. The negative structure. Uh, simple past. Command auxiliary verb. Verb. Which is the auxiliary verb? Negative. Is do, does um. In simple past. Even. Did okay. Did plus not right. So what it follows? Is not. ¿Qué sigue aquí? Verb. Verb, okay. Verb in simple past or infinitive? Infinitive. Infinitive, right? Question, yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. So what is the structure? Auxiliary verb. Mm -hmm. Auxiliary verb, which is the auxiliary verb? Mm. Question, auxiliary verb, the, uh, question is did. Yeah. Okay, so what follows? Uh, subject, subject, plus, plus verb. Okay, infinitive or simple past, base uh, form two. Infinitive. Infinitive. Uh, we're in form two. Okay. Infinitive. Okay. So now, double H questions. How do we form double H questions? Do you remember the structure for the double H questions? Double H questions. Mm -hmm. Double H word, okay. Plus. Plus. Did. Plus. Plus word. Verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you? Subject. Plus verb. Verb. Infinity. Infinity. Infinity word. Infinity. And a question form. So. The question mark, right? So don't forget that. So we need a question mark at the end. So let me write that. Okay, so there you have it. So now give me some examples. So what did you do yesterday? Ideas, examples. What did you do yesterday? Affirmatives, examples. I. I, I, I. Okay. I went. I went. I went. Or I, I went. I went. I went. Okay. Yeah. I went to work. To the bank. To the bank. Okay. I dance. Or I danced. I danced. Dance. Okay. Danced. Right. Danced. All the morning. <laughs> hmm. Okay. What else? I pick up the phone. Is it correct? What did you do? Uh, what did you do yesterday? I pick up the phone. Is that correct? 
Oh. Okay, which is the right form? I pick pick it. 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 What did you do? Uh, what did you do yesterday? I called my boss, or I called. Called. Call. I, I called call my boss. Call okay. So I think that's clear, right? So be careful with the verbs, negatives. So give me some sentences about something you didn't do yesterday. Activities you didn't do. I didn't watch TV. You didn't watch TV, okay. I didn't watch TV. So look at there, we have the rules. I didn't eat pizza. I didn't celebrate what? Me too. Valentine's Day. No. No, we, we did. I didn't talk with uh, him or her. What else? I didn't. I didn't work. Is the structure clear? Yes, no. So how do we form the question? Did. Yes, no questions. We did, did, okay. Did you play video games? Did you play video games? Okay. Give me some more questions. Um, Clelia, Rosa. Did you eat pizza? Did you eat pizza? Okay. What else? Do you? Do you swim? Okay. Do you read? Can I say this? Do you write? No. No. What is the correct form? Do you right. write? Do you write? Okay. Did you, let's say, rot candies? Is no. it correct? No. no. Mm -hmm. So which Did is the buy. right buy? Buy. Did you buy? Rot. Candy. Rot means traer. Trajiste. Oh, Bring. 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 Okay. Bring. Bring. So did you bring candies? Bring. Recuerden que uh, with, the double, with the yes, no questions, you don't have to modify the verb. So you already have an auxiliary verb and this uh, represents the change of the tense. Entonces, este auxiliar representa el cambio de tiempo. Y no tienen que modificar ese verb. Did you, let's see. Did you try new uh, food? Is it okay? No. Which is the right form? Can you spell the right form for the verb? Do you try? Do you try? Do you try? New try. Okay, so now let's check the double H questions. How do you form the double H questions? Do you remember? Double H. What? So what follows? Auxiliary D plus? Verb. Subject plus? Okay. Plus verb. Verb and question mark. Example, what did you do? So can you give me more examples? What did you, what did you from? What did you from? Call. From. Correct. Ah, okay. So why? So let's modify the question. Why did you 
run. Okay. Where? Where do you stay? Where did you stay? Okay. Yesterday. Which? Which? Which notebook? Did you? Did you have? Did you? Uh huh. Okay, which notebook do you have? So, which can be followed by a noun, which in this case puede ser seguido de un sustantivo también. So, which notebook do you have? Tenemos también esta what pregunta. Happened? What happened? ¿Qué pasó? So, in this case, we have what as a, a pronoun and happen as the verb. So, this is a subject question. Who came? ¿Quién vino? Este son subject questions because I'm asking about the subject. Who came? Let's say Veronica came yesterday. En caso de las subject questions, cuando yo estoy preguntando por el sujeto en, una, en esa pregunta, puede contestar de esta manera. ¿Quién vino? Veronica came yesterday. En ese caso no utilizo un verbo auxiliar. Cuando tenemos a subject questions, subject questions. Ahora veamos el otro caso. Who did you help? Subject questions. Who did you help? Aquí no quiero saber quién ayudó. Quiero saber a quién ayudaron. Who did you help? Veamos el orden. I helped. Uh, let's say Oscar. Vean el orden, de, el orden de la respuesta. ¿Quién vino? Verónica. Estoy preguntando por el sujeto. Entonces, cuando yo estoy preguntando por sujeto, no voy a utilizar un verbo auxiliar acá. Pero no son todas las double edge questions que preguntan por sujeto. Son unas cuantas, como por ejemplo, whom. What, whom, what, eh, puede ser which también. Y ahí tenemos, son las subject questions. Las demás, no, las demás siempre las va a utilizar con auxiliar. Uh, who came? Veronica came yesterday. Who painted, uh, let's say, this? ¿Quién pintó esto? Julio. Julio painted, painted, okay? So that is a subject question. Object questions, who did you help? I helped Oscar. Estas tienen doble función también. Las subject, estas que están acá, okay? tienen doble función. Quiere decir que pueden ser subject or object questions. Pero recuerden que cuando es una subject, yo quiero saber quién hizo tal cosa. Cuando es una object, voy a utilizar el verbo auxiliar did, pero me estoy preguntando eh, quién fue, eh, qué fue lo, lo que afectó el verbo. ¿A quién ayudaste? Ah, a Oscar. Then, esto. So this is my object. What did you do? Um, let's say. What did you do? Quiero saber qué es lo que fue hecho, right? Ah, I did my... Homework. Okay. So now let's check with another example subject. Who loved Mary? ¿Quién amó a Mary? Who loved Mary? So what could be my answer? Hmm. Chepito, no. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, give an example. Pedro. Pedro loved Mary. Mary. Okay. Entonces aquí yo le agregué todo, ¿verdad? Por ahí solamente quiero saber quién. Pedro. Y eso sería más que suficiente. Let's see. Who 
Who did you love? A quien amaste? Who did you love? I loved Mary. ¿Comprende ahí, chicos, la diferencia entre una subject y una object? Tell me. Hello, hello, Nilton, Julio. ¿Todavía siguen aquí, chicos? Sí. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Ok, eh, pregunta. Eh, ¿Queda ahí claro el, el uso de la subject y object questions? Yes. Ok. Pues la, solamente recalcar ¿verdad? que la subject, estas, double H, un what, which, pueden tener doble función. Pero... Solo para subject serían estas, ¿verdad? Who, what, which, eh, who. Y uh -huh, what, what también. Que puede funcionar como un prana. What, what happened, lo que les comenté. ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasó? What happened. Uh -huh, what happened. ¿Qué pasó? Ah, I, I fell in love. Ajá. Uh -huh. Me enamoré, right? I fell in love. Es lo mismo como una oración en, en presente, simple. Who paints? Is it possible? Yes. ¿Quién pinta? So she's, she paints. Ok. So let's... ¿Cuándo se usa one teacher? Wrong. Wrong. Whom? ¿A quién? También se puede utilizar como quién o a quién. Puede utilizar como... Eh, vamos a ver. Lo podemos utilizar con una proposición. To whom did you um, talk? ¿A quién le hablaste? ¿A quién? Podríamos utilizarla ahí con una proposición. También así. Whom did you talk to? to or with? Who do you talk with? I talk with. It's an object question. I talk with uh, Mary. Okay. To whom do you talk to? I talk to Mary. Basically, it's the same meaning. A quien o quien. Ese es el significado. You can use this with a preposition to whom, or you can start with whom. Okay. So let's continue, guys. So I hope this can help you. Si que no se extraña si lo ven por ahí. So now let's continue. We have some vocabulary to study. And oh my goodness, so we spend a lot of time with that. That's fine. Look at this. Uh, we have some vocabulary to study. Um, we're going to check vocabulary related to accounting or doing business. So we have to match uh, these definitions. I'm going to show you the definition equi equity statement, uh, reports on the changes in retained earnings of a company during the stated period. Um, look at this, second one. Number two, balance sheet. Can you read that one, please, uh, Veronica? Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Report, report, reports a company asset liabilities on owner's quality in a given point in time. Mm -hmm. So we have reports a company's assets, liabilities, and owner's quality. So what is a liability? Liability, let's see what else. Owner's quality. We're gonna check that in a moment. So let's continue with number three. Can you read number three, please, a lady? Reports, mm -hmm. 
reports on a company's incoming and outcoming of cash, its operating, investing, and financing activities. Okay. And number four, please help us with number four, Julio. Uh, I don't know. Summarize. Summarize. Uh -huh. Summarizes. Summarizes a company's income, expense, expenses, and mm -hmm. expenses, and profits over a period of time. Okay, nice. So we're going to check the vocabulary. So we have cash uh, reports of the changes in retained earnings, balance sheet. So this is, what is a balance sheet, guys? No, how they? They balance it, right? A balance sheet. Uh, how about number uh, one? Equity statement. Equity statement. So we're talking about reports, right? Reports on the changes in retained earnings of a company during a stated period. So that is a report. El valor de, de la empresa, right? So we have uh, some reports on the changes in retaining earnings of a company during the stated period. Owners, uh, dueños. Number uh, three, cash flow. What is cash flow? Reports of a company's incoming and outgoing cash. So what is an income? Income, guys. Incomes. And how about outcomes? Ideas? Yeah, what was that? Los? Los egresos de la empresa, right? How about, uh, let me check another one, uh, number four. Number four. Income statements summarizes a company's incomes, expenses, and profits over a period of time. So an income statement is basically um, all the incomes and the expenses, los ingresos y los gastos. So that's an expense. Expenses, gastos o costos, okay. And incomes, what is an income? What do we say? Profits. So what profits. are profits? Ganancias. Like ganancias, okay. The like ganancias. Okay, so we're gonna check some more vocabulary in order to learn a little bit about uh, business terms. So just let me open that. Probably if you work as a, an accounting, probably you know about it. <laughs> Let's see. So we're just gonna check some of the terms, not all of them, but some. Okay, so doing business. Um, can you see the information? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have by order of, by order of taxpayer, taxpayer. And uh, can you read the example, please? Uh, number one, Oscar, number one. Example one, by order of, a check. <laughs> Issued. issued the order issued the order of the pay mm -hmm. pay okay 28th can you read that one please uh, julio tax payer payer taxpayer and here the tax payer, payer. tax Payer. Taxpayer will receive the letter in five days. Okay. 
So we have deficit. Can you read that one, please? A Veronica, Spain. Here. Read it, read it, Veronica, Spain. Okay. Notice the different influence. Also notice the Spanish word has an accent mark. Spain has to reduce its annual deficit. Okay. There are 30, lady, inflow of money. Um, the main inflow of money for my business comes from the nation. Mm -hmm. So we have inflow of money. So you, there you have the, the term in Spanish, right? So we don't need to read it. 31, uh, can you help us, Nilton? 31. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 20, 20, 30, 31, Bernard. Yes, 31 here. Just the example in English. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the primero. Yes. Okay, we have started exporting olive, olive bay oil. oil. Oil, okay. Uh, olive oil. Oil sport has dry triplet. Left. Dry left. Mm -hmm. Triplet. Triplet. Mm -hmm. We have started exporting olive oil. Okay. In uh, okay. 32, money order. Help us with this one, Rafael. Money order. Money order. order. Um, I have to send. This money ordered by mail. By mail, okay. 33, help us with this one, please, uh, Blanca. Im to import and we cannot import. Blanca, Blanca. We cannot import more than that we can buy that we can buy okay and let's see rosa help us with this one illicit illicit import is on the rice mm -hmm. so there we have our income liquidity and loan um see help us with this one um okay blanca loose Income. 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 Uh, Spain's main source in of income tourism. Mm -hmm. Is tourism. 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 Spain's main source of income is tourism. Uh, liquidity. Uh, read it, please, Miguel. Liquidity. The sale will be will add. Um. Sale add. Uh huh. Will the add. sale will add a liquid the liquidity to the market to the market, right? And there you have a loan. So I need a loan to buy a new car, right? Prestamo. And besides that, we have budget. Uh, well, budget is basically when you uh, create a presupuesto, right? We need to stick to the original budget. So do you have a budget, guys? Yes, no? Mm -hmm. So we all need to have a budget, right? a property and account balance. So we're going to finish with these two. I would like to sell my property and account balance. So that's saldo. Okay. 
So that's part of the vocabulary we got for you for you today. And let's check. <clears throat> so I hope that you have taken some notes. Original one. Okay. I need to long to buy a new car. Okay, so listen up. We're going to practice some conversations related to um, banking. Uh, can you read the instruction, please, Oscar? Listen. Listen to facilitator reading some conversations regarding that uh, what people usually do at a bank so they can practice taking for practice practicing. Okay, so there we have the two one conversation. Um, the conversation one a situation is Julio. Can you read the situation? Situation. Lucy and Bo are shopping and wants to go to the bank. Okay, so let's read it together. So you listen and then you you try to repeat that. Okay. I need to quickly go to the bank. Okay, which one? The National Bank, its branch, it's just over there on the corner. We should go now as it will close in 10 minutes. Yes, let's hurry. Next, please. Good afternoon. I'd like to pay this check into my account. Good afternoon. Can I please have your account details. Yes, here is my ATM card. It has the account number. Thank you. This will just take a moment. Okay, here's your card. The money should be in your account in three, uh, <laughs> in three working days. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, thanks. That's all. Goodbye, right? So back again. I need to quickly go to the bank. Okay, which one? The National Bank, its branch is just over there on the corner. We should go now as it will close in 10 minutes. Yes, let's hurry. Next, please. Good afternoon. I'd like to pay this check into my account. Check into my account. Good afternoon. Can I, have, can I please have your account details? Yes, here is my ATM card. It has the account number. Thank you. This will just take a moment. Okay, here is your card. The money should be in your account in three working days. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, thanks. That's all. Goodbye. That's all. That's all. That's all. Goodbye. Let's see. I need two volunteers. Two volunteers. So just raise your hands, okay? Two volunteers, okay, we got one, Oscar and Veronica, I guess, right? Go ahead. Hey. I'm Lucy, I'm Lucy. I need to quickly go to the bank. Okay, which one? The National Bank, its branch is just over there on their corner. We should go now as it will close in 10 minutes. Yes, let's hurry. Next, please. Good afternoon. I'd like to pay this check into my account. Good afternoon. Can I please have your account details? Yes, here is my ATM card. It has the account number. Thank you, Liz. We'll just take a moment. Okay. Here is your card. This the the money should be in your account. It's three working working days. Is there anything else I can help you with? No thanks. That's all. Goodbye. Okay, we're good guys. So now let's continue back again. So let's try to do it a little bit faster. I need to quickly go to the bank. Okay, which one? The National Bank. It's a branch, it's just over there on the corner. 
corner, corner, or corner. Oh, no. We should, should, we should yes, go yes. now as it will close in 10 minutes. We should go now as it will close in 10 minutes. Yes, let's hurry, hurry, hurry. Next, please. Good afternoon. I'd like to pay this check into my account. Good afternoon. Can I please have your account details? Yes, here is my ATM card. It has the account number. Thank you. This will just take a moment. Okay, here's your card. The money should be in your account in three working days. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, thanks. That's all. Goodbye. So let's check some vocabulary. Um, for example, quickly. So what's the meaning for quickly? Rápido. Hurry. Julio, what do you say? Rápido. Rápido, right? Rápido. So I need to quickly go to the bank. Which one? The national. It's branch. Branch. What's the meaning for branch? Marca. Algo así. Oh. Mm, no, that's different. That's so. brand. That's brand. This is branch. Oh, okay. Branch is branch. The national no. bank. Its branch is just over there on the corner. So, for example, Unicomer. Let's say Cement. All Lama, these companies. Ah, uh, okay. You're close. They have different. Okay. Veronica. Uh huh. Okay. Mm. So yeah, it's branch is a building. Aha, uh -huh. it's a it's a building that belongs to the same company. That's a branch. Yes. Sucursal. Sucursal. Mm -hmm. So it's just over there. So just over there. It means justo ahí, right? Just over there on the corner. 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 We should. So listen. Should. What's the meaning for should? Ah, it's a modal verb. Deberíamos ir, right? Mm -hmm. We should go now. Go now. I said we'll close. Again, close. Close. No close. 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 In 10 close. minutes. Minutes. Mm -hmm. Minutes. Yes, Minute. let's hurry. Let's hurry. What's the meaning for let's hurry? Let's hurry, guys. Let's finish. Hurry. Rápido. Vamos rápido. rápido. Apurémonos, right? Next, please. Good afternoon. I like. So, what's this? I'd like to pay this check. Into what is bag. this? Mm -hmm. Good. I could. I could. I could. Contraction. Contraction, uh, I, I would. I could. Contraction, I could. Oh, I would. Could or would? I would. I would. I would like I to would pay. Like. I would like to me pay. Me check. Me gustaría pagar. Uh -huh. Me gustaría pagar este check. 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 Into my account. So this is the way how you uh, write check. It's the same. Actually, the same in Spanish. Check it. Check, right? Check into my account. Count. Um, let's see. So I think ATM. What's the meaning for ATM? Cajero. El cajero, right? Uh, here is. Uh, what's the meaning of teller? Teller. Tela. So you say teller. Teller. So what's that? The, the person that is at the bank, will you get to the bank and it's you cajera, ask? Cajera. Uh, yes. Right. <laughs> so he, in this case, is the teller, right? Okay. So here is your card. The money should be in your account in three working days. Three working <clears throat> days. What's the meaning? Three working days. <inaudible> in, three, in three days, working in three working days, right? Mm, okay. Is there anything else? What's the meaning? Is there anything else? Algo más. Hay algo más. Hay algo más. Hay algo más. Hay algo más. Con lo que te puedo ayudar. Okay. Oh, algo más. Can help you. 
that's all that's all that's all oh thanks that's all okay so i think we're um we're clear about it so now let's go to the breakout room so get a screenshot and let's go and practice for a moment okay Join the breakout rooms, guys. I'm gonna send you the screenshot. Okay, let's join the breakout rooms, the rest. Come on. Blanca, Guadalupe, Elena, Fernando, Jorge. Hello, hello. Hello, Miss. Hello, join uh, the breakout rooms. Did you get the invitation, Jorge? No, no, my no. Ah, okay, so I'm going to send you another one. There you go. Is right, it goes over there in the corner. We show God now, it as, as it will close in 10 minutes. Yes, let's hurry. Next, please. Good afternoon. I, I'd like to pay this set into my account. account. Good afternoon, Kong. Can I please have you account the details? Yes, here is my ATM card. It has the account number. Thank you. This why this will just take a moment. Okay. Here is to card the money should be in your account in three. Working day is there anything else I can help you with? Here is your card. The money should be in your account. In the pardon, here is your card. Money should be in your account in three working days. Is there anything else I can help you with? 
No, thanks. That's all. Goodbye. Ahora, no sé si lo practicamos este, el compañero y yo. Ajá. Ah, pues. Eso. Entonces, es Ajá. aquí la otra que la que aprendí también es la que está aquí. Oh, no, no es que está. No, es solamente de esa que te dije Ajá. que tenía duda. ¿Quieres que probamos nuevamente? Dale, yo inicio de nuevo. Ah, okay. okay. I need to quickly to go to the bank. Okay. Which one? The national bank is right. It's just over. There is on there the corner. We shall be now as it will close in 10 minutes. Yes. Let's it's hurry. <clears throat> Next, please. Look after I'd like delight to pay this ticket into my account. <coughs> Good afternoon. Can I please have your account details? Yes. Here is my ITM card. It has the account number. Thank you. This, this will just take a moment. Okay. Here, here is your card. Uh, I can help you with. No thanks. That's all. Goodbye. Hey, si quiere, practique con la otra compañera por segunda vez. Okay. Yo pregunto. Eh, Okay, welcome back, guys. So now let's continue. We have another activity just to uh, finish. And we're going to have some time. So we're going to work in groups of three. And uh, what is the instruction that you're going to follow? Um, each of you will get the name of a person related to accounting. For example, a secretary, uh, let's say bookkeeper, um, or any other. Uh, Let's say, for example, it could be a manager, a marketing manager or somebody else. And you must come up with as many adjectives as you can in order to describe that person in the group. And later, you're going to share that with the members of your group by giving descriptions. So you have to think about at least three adjectives that you have chosen and give a description. For example, if I uh, select a classmate, like let's say, and I give you a, a name or a, an occupation, like like bookkeeper, bookkeeper. So what is that bookkeeper? Auxiliar, contable, right? It's a bookkeeper. So how? Would you describe a, this a person, bookkeeper? Give me three adjectives for a bookkeeper. Think about some adjectives. Bookkeeper, so what could be a bookkeeper? Uh-huh, repeat it. Mm -hmm. Accountant. Accountant. Yeah, accountant could be another occupation. This is smart. So this could be a, um, an adjective. He is good at math. What else? He is responsible. 
So I want you to give descriptions, at least three descriptions for each occupation. So you're gonna be given that occupation. So I'm gonna start uh, giving you the occupation and I'm going to organize these in groups of three, okay? So it's that clear? So remember, you have to think about adjectives related to these occupations. I'm going to go by group by group, giving you the occupations, okay? Yeah, Oscar, Oscar, do you have questions? Mm -hmm. So you have to think of an, uh, well, you will you will give be given an occupation and then you have to mm -hmm. give descriptions about it, at least three descriptions. So you have to think about three adjectives related to uh, this occupation, three adjectives, uh -huh, but in a sentence first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Goodbye. Okay, see you in a moment. <laughs> So join the breakout rooms, guys. Join the breakout rooms. And it's a very... very intelligent. All... Um, and you? <laughs> um, so, so intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> no. There you have the three words. You have to think about some adjectives related to three uh, to these three occupations. Okay, so you have bookkeeper, accountant, and secretary. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So start thinking, or you can look for some adjectives in order to describe these occupations. Okay. Okay. So and, and make a list. Make a list. Okay. A secretary. Yo me encargo, me encargo como friendly, de, friendly. Friendly, sí. ajá. En cambio, yo me encargo como de reclutar, entonces sí se valoran más como esas cualidades como friendly, um, en, no sé cómo se dirá en inglés, um, como con educado o, o con Polite. 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 So there you have three examples. If you, you want, you can use them, okay? Okay. Um, um, Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Okay, I'm going to give you the three uh, occupations. So we have auditor, accountant, and... Salesperson. Oh, okay, salesperson could be one, but think about some adjectives and make a list. Tienen que ser una lista de adjetivos. Of, is Fernando here? Fernando, are you here? Guadalupe? Yo creo que lo estás haciendo ahí antes, teacher. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Lo voy a enviar a otro break room. Okay, Nelson. Okay, okay. One, okay. Sí, damos la mía no. extra. No, pero no, no es un valor a veces por, por el delante vaya, de la pues, vaya, pues, vaya, pues voy a buscar otro patento. Pero vea ya. Sí. Uh, Responsibility. Efficiency. Mm. So there you have some ideas. There you have some ideas. Check the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right. The chat. Yes. Okay. So remember, you have to think about some uh, well adjectives related to this. Not is it? Yeah, luchona, luchona, no is valor. No, no, yo no he dicho luchona. De estar inventando. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mamá luchona. <laughs> luchona. <laughs> Oh, my goodness.
Um, combine, eh, bueno, cartoon, este, drawing, painter, editor. Um, pongámosle también, no sé. Bueno, ya tenemos suficiente hoy. Vamos con Verónica entonces. Ajá, sí, porque sacamos cuatro de Clelia. Es lawyer. Lawyer. Ah, ok. Es entonces metodic. I, I like public speak o public speaking. Ah, um, es. Um, Hello, Rafael and Ana Veronica. Oh, Rafael, you alone, right? Uh, yes, uh, Ana Veronica, creo que solo está de oyente. Okay, so let me move. I'm going to move you with, uh, let me check. Team number, it was Oscar, okay, fine. Yo creo que ahí ingresaron algunos otros compañeros. No, no sé qué no. Hola, well, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Fine, finish. Okay, how many um how many adjectives do you get? Secretary. Um, okay, for secretary? She is efficient. Efficient, okay. Efficient. She is responsible. Responsible. She knows how to organize. Mm -hmm. She is responsible, oh. organized. Okay. What else? Only what else? That. And you, Nelton, do you have more? She is uh, intelligent. She's intelligent. Just one. Okay, and you, Blanca, do you get some? There's, there's coffee. She loves coffee, okay. <laughs> okay, so what could be another adjective for secretary? So you mentioned smart, intelligent, responsible, enthusiastic, okay, enthusiastic. So what do you think? Passionate? No? Well, well, you mentioned some. She is organizing the document. Mm -hmm. Organized, uh huh. She's, is she um, boring or interesting? Interesting. Mm -hmm. interesting. She, she has an interesting job. Okay, so we're gonna come back in a moment. Just let me close the rooms, okay? Okay. okay. Bye, chicos. Nos vemos.
Okay, guys, welcome back. I'm just going to pass the attendance list and just send me the adjectives that you get, okay? Okay, uh, let's see. Ana Marlene Andrade. Okay. I'm going to pass attendance list. Uh, say present, guys. Ana Marlene Andrade. Present, teacher. Thank you, Marlene. Ana Veronica Hernandez. Present, miss. Thank you. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Thank you, Blanca. Blanca Luz Delgado. Present, teacher. Thank you, Blanca Luz. Carlos Miguel Lumaña. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Present. Okay. Carmen Guadalupe. Okay. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Está por acá. Thank you. Diana Maribel Hueso por ti. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Okay. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Present, Miss. Thank you, Jorge. Present. Julio. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Julio Cesar Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you. Lady Joana Hernandez. Lady Joana Hernandez. Present. Okay. Nilton Alexander Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Antonio Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Rosa de Los Angeles. Present. Thank you, Rosa. Veronica Elizabeth. Present Welcome. teacher. Thank you, guys. So we stay today with, uh, let me check. <clears throat> I think it's a nail tongue. No, it's like. Okay, so we're going to be here with Julio, right? No, no, it's with me. I'm going to go past it. Because it's not a nail tongue. It's not a nail tongue. With Oscar. Yes, it's true. Okay, nail tongue. So we stay with you. Okay, perfect. Boy. Okay, guys. So that's all for today. Have a nice day. Night. So sleep well, guys. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Partner. See you See tomorrow, you guys. Tomorrow. Good night. See you. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good Thank you. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ok, Nilton. Um, me gustaría saber, Nilton, si hay dudas hasta el momento o alguna duda que tenga en particular. Quiero ver, pues por el momento, dudas, dudas de los temas en sí, no. no, sé, no. Bueno, lo que okay. siento, y, no sé si me puede ayudar con, no sé, alguna plataforma donde pueda practicar. Y aprender vocabulario, siento yo, más que todo con el tema de, de los... Esta semana creo que vimos... Esta, esta semana... Ok, ok. Sí, dime, dime, dime. Hola. No, esta semana estuvimos viendo así como unas diapositivas donde aparecía el verbo en su forma base y en su forma en pasado, creo, en pasado, y no me acuerdo cuál era la otra forma. Entonces, algo así, no sé si tendrá. Pues siento que me ayudaría bastante, porque al final lo que Mira, necesito... Te lo voy a compartir. Es... Ok. Eh, con, con la plataforma. El periodo. Pero eh, espero el día de mañana finalizar lo que es ya la, digamos, la semana 3 y la semana 4 de, de una sola vez. Ah, así que para salir con eso. Uh -huh. Ok, sí, me parece bien. Ok, Bye. ese es el link. Ajá, ese es el link. Ahí puse past simple affirmative, pero si tú vas desplegando ahí en... Pues acá los que tenemos son verbos irregulares. Uh -huh. Los irregulares son los que no les agregamos ed, sino que, por ejemplo, yo digo el verbo traer, ¿verdad? Ok, Green. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
quiero agregar las favoritas que no se me pierda. Sí. Yo te mandé directamente al tema que hemos estado viendo, Paz Simple. Sí, pero veo que tiene varias carpetas y ahí se, se despliega. Ah, uh -huh, entonces eso. tú solamente, si quieres regresar atrás, pone, te haces clic sobre el logo. Sobre el logo. Ok, just let me show it to you. Acá. Ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Mm, sí, oh, sí. Estos son common irregular verbs. Aquí hay 10. Son ejercicios de escribir, los verbos también. Ah, oh, oh, es, es interactivo, ¿no? Yo pensé que solamente era, era eh, de, de la lista, de que es interactivo. Ah, ok, está perfecto, entonces. Ah, por ejemplo, aquí tienes varios recursos. Tienes eh, quiz. Una vez que hayas practicado los ejercicios de arriba, ya los quiz eh, están abajo, ¿no? Para que tú los vayas realizando y va relacionado a lo que estudiaste antes. Por ejemplo, tenemos esta, he brought o bring. Entonces, como estamos estudiando pasado, vamos a hacer la indicación. Irregular verbs. Yeah, the first pass, right? Brought or bring. Tenemos las dos formas, presente y pasado. Entonces, acá sí, sí. vas marcando y sigues avanzando. Entonces, siguiente, ¿dónde era? Acá, next. Entonces, cuando tú has terminado, vas a click on next. Ahí, por ejemplo, look at this one. The cat, cut or catch. Eh, cut. Ajá, muy bien. Entonces ahí. Little, little, I... Y así va. Aquí tenés más ejercicios. My mom bought or buy. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. perfecto. Está excelente. Entonces, esos son para los verbos irregulares. Acá, mira, aquí index of contents, past simple, regular verbs. Aquí están los regulares. Por ejemplo, regula. Um, Aquí tenemos past tenses with ed and ied, lo que veíamos hace como dos clases. Lo que mm -hmm. terminaba... Es con el tema de la pronunciación, creo que a veces se me complica con eso. Mm -hmm. Ese es, es respecto mm -hmm. a la escritura. Una pregunta, ¿usted encuentra Ajá, un poco de en inglés? ¿O desde pequeñita? No, no, yo prácticamente lo estudié. La cuestión es que yo lo estudié, pero en una carrera. Entonces, mmm, no te podría decir en sí cuánto, pero ya... Segundo año ya tienes un porcentaje, entonces como vas por porcentaje y como el idioma es bastante extenso, okay. eh, ajá, también hay bastante, hay muchísimo, pero, o sea, si lo practicas así todos los días, eh, hablas, te pones a estudiar todos los días, por lo menos una hora, trata de, de dedicarte o que sea una hora todos los días. Todos los días. Pero, eh, con respecto a si me dedico, si dedico un tiempo específico, más que todo, ¿en qué sería? ¿En qué me enfocaría? Porque el tema de las reglas gramaticales, bueno, a veces ya se puede, pues, eh, es bastante fácil, pero no sé en, en qué me enfoco, en aprender nuevas palabras o, o, o formar oraciones o cómo. Fíjate, fíjate que no hay un tiempo así definido, ¿no? Bueno, hay muchos lugares que dicen que en dos años ya, en eh, 11 meses, ya puedes hablar en leva. Uh -huh. Para mí que obtienes un nivel comunicativo, puedes obtener un nivel comunicativo, pero todo va a depender del tiempo que dediques también. Porque okay. significa que haya, ajá, por ejemplo, las dos horas clase y también parte de estudiar una hora por lo menos, o practicar, escuchar música, y que todo se vaya convirtiendo en inglés, ¿verdad? Películas, videos, eh, o buscar videos eh, en inglés, básicamente, o todo lo que, o noticias, eh, puedes poner los subtítulos, eh, es que básicamente tienes que combinar, tienes que combinar listening, writing, eh, reading, bueno, writing quizás no mucho, a menos que aunque es muy importante porque si vas, uh, si se pretende trabajar en un call, también hay cuentas de chat. Entonces, eh, tienes que incorporar bastante listening, eh, reading, eh, speaking. Lo o sea, la idea básicamente sería también como que en la rutina de, diaria que uno tiene, incorporar eso. Por ejemplo, la música se puede escuchar durante todo el día uh -huh. y no interrumpe <coughs> mucho, ¿verdad? Fíjate que algo que te puede ayudar bastante es este, ver videos, ver videos, escuchar música, 
también leer, la lectura ayuda bastante a incrementar tu vocabulario, e incluso con los videos se puede buscar las palabras. Eh, también podrías eh, grabarte, grabarte, eh, escuchar una conversación o buscar material. Ahí en, en ese sitio web puedes encontrar, porque te, ese sitio web te vas al menú principal y ahí, no sé, te va a compartir un ahí tiene un montón de herramientas. Entonces, esta es la habilidad: es, eh, reading, listening, eh, reading and writing. No sé si tú vas practicando todas esas, eh, todas esas cosas, si, te, si puedes mejorar bastante. Pero eh, ahí tú puedes dedicar, digamos, cierto tiempo para cada área. ¿verdad? Okay, Bien, okay. Eh, entonces, por ejemplo, aquí tienes. Creo que hay una parte eh, grammar, de audio también. Eh. Eso me va a servir bastante. Ajá, y, Historia. Listening, reading. Hay ejercicios dedicados. Puedes ir haciendo aquí mismo. No es necesario que. Uh -huh. eh, cuentos. Video lessons, aquí está con cartoons, hay canciones, eh, hasta rimas y canciones de cuna. Hay, hay, hay worksheets de grammar, eh, verbs, vocabulary, y hay otros recursos. Por ejemplo, vemos acá, basic, idioms, mira, aquí están mira, idioms, expresiones, es el, aquí está una comparación entre British y American, vamos a okay. checar eso que es. Los, uh -huh. Diferencias. Counter, clockwise, autumn, autumn, fall. Aquí más bien está dando diferencias de vocabulario. ¿Cómo lo dicen eh, los británicos y cómo lo dicen los americanos? Por ejemplo, sí, galletas, sí. biscuit uh, y cookie. Americans uh, say cookie. So, okay, okay. Chips, fries, las papas, como le dicen en Miami. Es importante. Esto está bonito porque tú puedes aprender cómo lo dicen. Eh, americanos como lo dicen británicos entonces vamos eh, con una sola idea por ejemplo aquí stove la, la, la cocina cooker vamos a ver cuál podría ser otra nosotros ah vaya por ejemplo las películas film movie está bien okay. conocido aquí está hack first pocketbook uh -huh, pocketbook jelly jello el elevador mira cómo se dice acá elevator <coughs> lift <coughs> esto parece que lo veíamos en una conversación que tuvimos sí eh, sí y entonces aquí pues se puede ayudar no, solo okay. hay 63 lo que igual está dando lección sí gracias tiche ya guardé en favoritos el link que me compartió y voy a estar chequeando y tratar de dedicarle tiempo a, a eso el tema de lo gramatical sí lo comprendo la verdad uh -huh. pero es lo que le digo de calcinar, sí, no, por ejemplo sabes qué puedes hacer quedo, o sea, grabar yo siento, yo siento que a veces me quedo por ejemplo porque como no tengo vocabulario, entonces igual siento que decir lo mismo, utilizar los mismos verbos como play, listen, eat, mm -hmm. sleep, work, que, que son los verbos que uno se aprende al inicio. Entonces, no sé. Si Ajá, que... Sí, no, en ese caso no, sí, no, también no. te recomiendo que eh, los verbos, te empieces a estudiar bastante vocabulario, eh, verbos, verbos. Ok, ok, gracias, teacher. No sé si continuamos o... No, por ahí está bien. Ok. Si okay. ya no hay ninguna otra pregunta, solamente poner, ponerse al día con la plataforma. Sería okay. la Gracias, teacher. Que Tomorrow, pase okay. feliz noche. Nos vemos mañana. Gracias, Nilton. Ok.